here's another couple of pages for my December album. I've got this photo of Lily and she's got her little Santa. That's one of the toys that I put away for her just for December. That's only December toy she's allowed to play with. And I've also got a whole pile of journal cards that I've printed myself. So these are all digital cards that I've printed. Um, some of these ones are old um, mini kits from Ellie Edwards, but um, the rest of them are digital kits from Ellie Edwards. Um, there's some push print studios. There's some inner creative bubble. Um, some Alison Pennington. There's just a whole pile. I've just printed a whole pile so that I've got a stash there to use. And I'm just picking out a couple that go with my photo. So I've got one there, a journal card that I'm going to do some journaling on from In a Creative Bubble. And I think the other one there, the sort of more just word patterns, is an Alison Pennington one. So I'll leave the links to those below. And then I've got these chipboard shapes and I'm just, I really hate these chipboard shapes to be honest. I hate trying to push them out of the little, um, of their packaging. It's so difficult. But um, anyway, that's beyond the point. What I'm doing is just trying out a few pieces and I um, grabbed just a couple of plastic bags that were sitting there, just some little Ziploc bags so that I could see what they looked like on the cards without actually like sticking them down so I found this is a good way they don't I'm not pressing them onto the plastic bags um, just sitting them there um, gently so that they do peel off and I can always pop them back onto the board if I decide not to use them so I did decide not to use just about all of these ones and as I was deciding what else I was going to do I noticed this one falala and it had the same colors as the photo so the cushion that Lily's sitting on is sort of a tealy color and the red center and I just thought it worked nicely with the two colors. So I'm just gonna stick that down onto that card and then I can go ahead and fill out my journaling just on my typewriter. And then I'm going to date stamp it. I don't date stamp a lot of these, but I am going to date stamp this one because there was a place for it. Um, and instead of black, because there's a lot of black on that card, I'm just going to date stamp in red ink. And it says the little spot next to it's for place, so I'm just going to use a red pen and write a home because that's where we were. And instead of just writing it in, I'm sort of doing like my fake brush script just to add a different font because there are a lot of sort of fonts on there already. And that is that very simple page all done. That's the beauty with these um, digital cards. You can print out just the ones you want and be done in no time at all. Now I want to use one of these 3 by 8 pockets. Um, so I've grabbed this photo, this was my new Christmas cup, I try and get one every year and this one I just happened upon and had to have it, pink, red and it says Merry Everything which um, seemed rather perfect. And so to make that a 3 by 8 I need a piece of paper to go on top so I'm just going through these 6 by 6 ones here, although I found that pink and red star paper which was, couldn't be more perfect, it's almost the exact same colour as the cup, so I'm using that and just cutting that down to 3 by 6 so that I can add it to the top. Now I'm just trying to work out like where I was going to put it because my original thought was that I wanted to have it on a diagonal but um, the more I looked at it the more I thought this isn't going to work. So instead I've gone a different route, um, I've just trimmed the top off because I need to work from the top down for this and I don't want to flip the paper upside down because then the stars will be upside down. So I've grabbed some black alphas. Um, just out of my stash, there's just some old thickers. Um, and I chose black because that background of the photo, although it isn't black, it is really dark. And what I'm gonna do is spell out all I want for Christmas. So I changed my mind and just grabbed the page protector to do this so I could see what was happening. Because some of these words are obviously gonna be way too big for the three inches wide. So um, they do overhang the edge of the paper and I am gonna have to trim them, but um, I think they'll trim all right. So I'm just trying to work out how I'm gonna split the word Christmas. 
and whether they both fit on and they both sort of do so I'm gonna stick those down as well now I am trying to sort of keep these all relatively towards the top because with my photo as well I've only got eight inches to work with so I am trying really hard to keep it at eight inches and so here I'm just using my scissors just to trim the there's only three little pieces that overhung the edge so I didn't think that was too bad although you'll see later on I'm gonna have to trim some more just making sure it's all gonna fit and it is so along the bottom I'm just going to carefully tear the paper across and then I can stick these two pieces together now to make sure I'm getting eight inches I also grabbed this 3x8 printable from in a creative bubble and I'm going to use that for my journaling on the back so I'm just lining up my two pieces um, on that printable so I can make sure that they're everything's the same height and then just stick those two together Now I'm going to do my journaling down here, it's only a really small space for journaling and again there's a date stamp spot so I'm going to stamp that in. This time I am using black since the printable is red. And then I'm just going to add my journaling, quite difficult journaling inside a skinny little spot but I got there in the end. You notice this time I actually hand wrote it rather than typewrite it so um, that was a win for me. This, however, was not. I did manage to squeeze this insert in. Definitely could not squeeze the other one in as well, and it was too fat, like the page protector actually started bowing. So I pulled that out, and I'm going to trim down the side a little bit. Because those thickers are so fat, it does need to be less than three inches. And then, man, did I have trouble getting both of these things in. So eventually, I get it all into the pocket. And that is that tiny little page all done. But I wanted to add um, one of these Avery L, what are they called? Tabs <laughs> to the side, um, much like Ellie does. So I um, grabbed one of them and an older stamp set from Feed Your Craft, which has these two tiny little sentiments that fit the um, insert paper really nicely. Stamped them both out, and I'm gonna just slot that into the clear tab and then I can stick the tab on the side of the page protector. It's a little bit bumpy because of those stickers, but um, you can't really see it once it's in the album. Love the size of these little three by eight inserts. They're so cute. So that's another two really simple pages done for my album. No sequins or anything sparkly, so you know what's gonna happen next time, don't you? If you want to keep watching, there's a couple more videos on screen. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye!